Hello students, do we really know Newton's laws? Now this could be, we, we are taught Newton's laws from our, you know, we learn them in high schools, maybe earlier than that. And uh, uh, so asking such questions, whether we have really understood Newton's law, laws, um, I know, could be an absurd question. It might sound an absurd question, but I think it would be, uh, it would be advantageous to uh, review our understanding of Newton's laws. Often in the class, um, uh, I ask students about Newton's laws and of course Newton's third law, I ask what is the Newton's third law which is they quickly respond that action and reaction are equal and opposite, right? So that's, that's what is the quick response we give. Uh, then I supplement my question um, uh, with additional uh, sub-question. Uh, I ask them, uh, imagine, I mean, think about this, uh, this is an object. Uh, resting on my palm, uh, palm of my hand, and uh, suppose I apply some force which is passing through this pen, uh, the object would move, right? At certain point, the object would start moving. Now, my question is, this body is applying some force, and if action and reactions are equal and opposite, then there should be a reaction from this body equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. If that is the case, then action and reaction should cancel out, right? Because uh, they are passing through the same point and action and reaction, aren't they passing through the same point? Obviously they are passing through the same time. So why don't action and reaction cancel out? And if the action and reaction cancel out, the body should never move, right? And obviously, this is absurd. You might think it's absurd thing because bodies move, etc. But this is the question. Okay, uh, so pause this video. Uh, think for a moment. I'm sure you are smart people. All of you have correct answer. I don't get the correct answer always, but just pause the video and think about it and come back and join this video. Okay, welcome back. I assume you have unpaused the video and you have the answer. See, often the answer students give, uh, very few students give correct answer. Uh, others are baffled. So the thing is, uh, why action and reactions don't cancel out? They don't cancel out because Newton's third law also has uh, something additional, either implied or explicitly stated. Many, uh, many textbooks really expli explicitly state that, and that's a good thing. Action and reaction are equal and opposite, but action is on one body reaction is on another body so there is so when you want to consider the moment of these two bodies you need to separate these bodies and draw what is known as free body diagram that's where we come into uh, we we arrive at concept of free body diagram we will talk about that later but why the forces don't act, cancel out each other? Because action is on one body, reaction is on another body. So when you want to consider the movement like this object, so I have to draw what is the what is the free body of this. That means I should separate this from the pen and consider the action. When I want to see the pen, I have to consider the reaction on the pen, right? So and then we have to see whether this body moves or not, right? So the free body would be like this is the object this is the pen right so I, I would say this is the pen and acting on it this is the force acting on it okay so if I want to see whether the and then there is this resting on the some some palm right on my on my palm it rested so when I want to consider whether this body moves or not I cannot just cancel out action and reaction I have to draw the free body diagram so I have to consider this body then the action here if I am if drawing the pen here, the reaction of this body will be equal in magnitude and opposite in direction, right? So they have to be separated. Action is acting on one body, reaction is acting on another body. Whether this body would move or not will depend upon the frictional force which will be acting on this body, right? The friction force will be acting on this body. And if this force is more than this force, the body would move, right? So action and reaction, action and reaction are equal and opposite but then they don't cancel out. We have to draw the free body diagrams. Now that's just, that was just the beginning. Um, I hope uh, I convince you that it's good to 
review our understanding of Newton's laws of motion. And that is what is we are going to do uh, in the following videos. So please join, please watch the next videos which will be of short durations. So welcome.